This is our new range of moulds suitable for clear casting, um, for encapsulation of objects for scientific or decorative purposes. Um, I've laid the range out here so you can see the um, code of each mould and also um, if you notice it gives the capacity in millilitres of each mould so if you were to fill one of these with um, casting resin, clear casting resin you'd be able to see um, from here how many millilitres of um, resin it takes to fill each of these moulds. Not that you have to fill them to the top but if you did this is what the um, capacity is. Now um, I'm going to handle each one individually so it will give you some idea of the internal shape and also because I'm holding it um, the size relative to my hands. So the first one we've got here is the MC1 which is um, 50 mi 59 millilitres and as you can see it's um, fairly deep, um, it's about an inch deep, um, it's got um, corners that are rounded and this would be an ideal one to start um, the process if you haven't done it before of cold casting because in here you wouldn't be using much resin um, to have a go. Um, moving on from that we've got one that's um, slightly larger than that, um, sort of a double matchbox size and um, this again would be a good starter one. Um, after that um, we move to um, these are really quite popular, the round ones, um, because these are starting to sort of look more decorative now, whereas the, the um, rectangular ones are sort of more scientific. Um, but this is um, this would be another good one to start, 74 millilitres, the MC3. Um, from there, we're getting slightly larger now. This, we're up to 118 millilitres on this um, MC4, but again, it's um, a rectangular, um, fairly deep, and, um, well, a useful little um, mould to have. This one, I reckon, would be the classic decorative one, uh, MC5. Um, it's 118 millilitres, but look at that. That's a um, superb dome. So you can imagine, uh, you know, various um, natural science objects encapsulated in that. And because of the magnification effect of the dome, this would be... A really, I think, a really, really popular one. This one, and I like, I like the look of that one. Um, MC6 um, again, rectangular. Um, this, uh, to me, looks more like a scientific um, type of um, array, where you would have, um, you know, objects of natural um, history or science um, encapsulated in this. Um, useful size, 148 mil, so it's getting quite quite big. Now the last two really are the large ones. This one is um, the MC7 and it's um, 236 millimeters. Now in one this big you can put a multiple of um, objects um, laid out um, and so you know you could do almost like a, a, a scene with um, objects inside it and again this one is 266 millilitres, so this is quite a serious size um, encapsulating um, mould. So if you if you imagine this was a finished product, this is this is quite a large moulding. Um, this would be quite good if you had say um, components um, in engine. I've seen the engineering components put in these um, for well for um, mainly for corporate reasons. You know, like you hand over this and this has got some of the objects that your company makes but um, this again is about an inch deep. Now I want to show you something which you must um, um, realize these are obviously manufactured um, in a factory and you will find minute I don't know if the lens will pick it up but there's my, my absolutely minute um, I'm reflecting there. You probably see there with a reflection of the light, minute scratches um, on the surface. Now they're highly polished, and obviously when these are cast, those scratches will protrude very, very slightly. So they're very easy to get rid of. I mean, a bit of um, tea cut or um, you know fine cutting paste will just polish those out very quickly. It's not like they're scratches that will produce a deep hole in your moulding. They're actually little ridges that will appear on the top. So um, it's just a warning. You won't always get them, but you know because, because of the size of these moulds and how they're made in, in the factory, 
um, you do get slight imperfections uh, which you just have to live with um, but they're very easily um, got rid of uh, just with a little tickle of um, wet and dry 1200 and um, a little bit of tea cut um, and that's basically the range I think um, they're going to be a lot of fun uh, for a lot of people and um, this is uh, a video that just gives you a reference of the um, code the um, capacity in millilitres and also some idea of what they look like